In daily life, we often hear that stainless steel is not attracted by magnets. However, is this statement correct? Firstly, we need to understand the basic characteristics of stainless steel and neodymium magnets and their interactions. Stainless steel is an alloy typically composed of elements such as iron, chromium, and nickel. Neodymium magnets are currently the strongest synthetic magnets, with strong attraction to ferromagnetic metals such as iron, nickel, and cobalt. However, this does not mean that all types of stainless steel can be attracted by magnets. In fact, whether stainless steel can be attracted by magnets depends mainly on its composition and internal structure. Stainless steel is mainly divided into three categories. These different types of stainless steel exhibit different magnetic properties and physical characteristics due to their internal element content and crystal structure. Martensitic stainless steel contains 12 to 18% chromium. This type of stainless steel has high strength, but its plasticity and weldability are relatively low. Martensitic stainless steel has good corrosion resistance in oxidizing media, but its corrosion resistance in sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid is very low. It is often used to make components that require high strength but do not require high corrosion resistance, such as aircraft skins. Martensitic stainless steel has a body-centered cubic crystal structure, with eight iron atoms at the corners of the cube and one atom at the center of the cube. The eight iron atoms at the corners are closely aligned with the central atom. The interaction between iron atoms can lead to an ordered arrangement of electron spins. This arrangement allows the magnetic moments between iron atoms to interact and form magnetic domains. Under the action of an external magnetic field, the magnetic moments of these magnetic domains will align along the direction of the magnetic field, causing the martensitic stainless steel to be adsorbed on the magnet. Ferritic stainless steel has a chromium content between 10% and 30%, no nickel, and a carbon content of less than 0.12%. It has the disadvantages of high brittleness at low temperatures, high tendency to intergranular corrosion, and poor welding performance. It is typically used in areas where corrosion resistance is not a high priority, such as building materials and automotive parts. Like martensite, ferrite also has a body-centered cubic crystal structure, making it a type of stainless steel that is attracted to magnets. When stainless steel contains 18% chromium, 8% to 25% nickel, and 0.1% carbon, it has a stable austenite structure. Austenitic stainless steel is the main material for food grade 304 and 316 stainless steel, so it is the type we encounter most in our daily lives. Due to its excellent corrosion resistance, good plasticity, and excellent welding performance, austenitic stainless steel is widely used in various tableware, medical equipment, and chemical equipment. Ferrite transforms into austenite at 912 degrees Celsius to 1394 degrees Celsius, changing from a body-centered cubic structure to a face-centered cubic structure. This structure enables austenitic stainless steel to exhibit excellent corrosion resistance and mechanical properties. However, the face-centered cubic structure makes the magnetic moment interaction between iron atoms weaker, making it difficult to form magnetic domains. Therefore, Austenitic stainless steels usually exhibit paramagnetism or non-magnetism. Magnets will have a weak attraction on paramagnetic materials, but this attraction is only 100,000th of that of ferromagnetic materials and can only be measured with precision instruments. When the temperature drops, austenite will turn back into ferrite. We can add a sufficient amount of chemical elements that can stabilize and expand the austenite phase region, such as nickel and manganese, to the steel, thus achieving a stable austenite structure after cooling. To sum up, whether stainless steel can be attracted by a magnet mainly depends on its type. Ferritic stainless steel and martensitic stainless steel can be attracted by a magnet due to their ferromagnetic internal structure. However, austenitic stainless steel usually has no magnetic properties and cannot be attracted by a magnet. For other types of stainless steel, such as austenitic ferritic duplex stainless steel and precipitation hardened stainless steel, their magnetic properties may vary depending on the specific composition and processing techniques. It should be noted that due to composition segregation, impure constituent elements, or improper heat treatment during the smelting of stainless steel billets, a small amount of martensite or ferrite may appear in austenitic stainless steel, resulting in weak magnetic properties in the austenitic stainless steel.
Austenitic 304 stainless steel, which is commonly used as a pipe material for home decoration, is generally considered to be non-magnetic. However, weak magnetic properties may also occur due to composition fluctuations caused by smelting or different processing conditions, which cannot be considered as counterfeit or unqualified. In addition, after cold processing, the structure of austenitic 304 stainless steel will also transform into martensite. The greater the degree of deformation during cold processing, the more martensite transformation, and the greater the magnetic properties of the steel. On the other hand, lower quality 200 series stainless steel is likely to be non-magnetic. Therefore, it is not rigorous to judge the type and quality of stainless steel only by testing whether it can be adsorbed by a magnet. We need to evaluate it through more professional and comprehensive experiments. I hope this is helpful. If you think it's good, please like and subscribe to our channel. If you are interested in our magnet products, you can also contact us. See you next time.